quantum anomaly solve. Cornell researchers challenge long-held beliefs about quantum insulators. Researchers from Cornell have utilized magnetic imaging to obtain the first direct visualization of how electrons flow in a special type of insulator. And by doing so, they discovered that the transport current moves through the interior of the material, rather than at the edges, as scientists had long assumed. This discovery sheds light on the electron dynamics within quantum anomalous Hall insulators and should help settle a decades-long debate about how current flows in more general quantum Hall insulators. These insights will inform the development of topological materials for next-generation quantum devices. The Quantum Hall Effect The project, led by Katya Nowak, Assistant Professor of Physics in the College of Arts and Sciences and the paper's senior author, has its origins in what's known as the Quantum Hall Effect. First discovered in 1980, this effect results when a magnetic field is applied to a specific material to trigger an unusual phenomena. The interior of the bulk sample becomes an insulator while an electrical current moves in a single direction along the outer edge. The resistances are quantized, or restricted, to a value defined by the fundamental universal constant, and drop to zero. A quantum anomalous Hall insulator, first discovered in 2013, achieves the same effect by using a material that is magnetized. Quantization still occurs and longitudinal resistance vanishes, and the electrons speed along the edge without dissipating energy, somewhat like a superconductor. Dispelling prevailing beliefs the picture where the current flows along the edges can really nicely explain how you get that quantization. But it turns out, it's not the only picture that can explain quantization, Nowak said. This edge picture has really been the dominant one since the spectacular rise of topological insulators starting in the early 2000s. The intricacies of the local voltages and local currents have largely been forgotten. In reality, these can be much more complicated than the edge picture suggests. Only a handful of materials are known to be quantum anomalous Hall insulators. For their new work, Nowak's group focused on chromium-doped bismuth antimony telluride, the same compound in which the quantum anomalous Hall effect was first observed a decade ago. The sample was grown by collaborators led by physics professor Nitin Samarth at Pennsylvania State University. To scan the material, Nowak and Ferguson used their lab's superconducting quantum interference device, or SQUID, an extremely sensitive magnetic field sensor that can operate at low temperatures to detect dauntingly tiny magnetic fields. The SQUID effectively images the current flows which are what generates the magnetic field and the images are combined to reconstruct the current density. The currents that we are studying are really, really small, so it's a difficult measurement, Nowak said. And we needed to go below 1 Kelvin in temperature to get a good quantization in the sample. I'm proud that we pulled that off. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and hit the bell icon.